Welcome to PPL Park here in Chester, Pennsylvania. I'm Christian Riley. And I'm Billy Rudin. And we're here to give you a pregame analysis report of the Philadelphia Union versus the D.C. United soccer game tonight. And, uh, Billy, uh, it's easy to say that the Philadelphia Union have been off to a miserable start so far this season. Yes, yes, very much so. Uh, what are they so far? 1-7-3. and three. D.C. United is off to a much better start. So... It's going to be a tough game for the Union. And the coaches and the players are definitely feeling the pressure. Um, here's a quote from the, head, the Union head coach, Jim, Jim Curtin, and he said, It's been a real tough time, obviously. I've never been part of something this difficult. I guess maybe at Villanova when I was playing there, but professionally, this is the first time I've gone through a tough time like this. So the Union are off to a 1-7-3 and three start with just six total points, and they are in standing in ninth out of tenth place here in the Eastern Conference. So, Billy, let's talk about it. What did the Union have to do differently from this point forward to climb up the standings a little bit, at least in the points total, to make them somewhat respectable? To be honest, the easy solution is they just have to start winning games. Um, the more they get these one-pointers or zero-point games, they're just they're going to keep falling in the standings. And the only way to climb back up is to start getting those three points for each victory. And tonight's going to be a tough test for them. It's going to be really tough against D.C. United. They're a, they're a lot better ball club and we'll see what happens. They sure are. The D.C. United Club is coming off an eight-game unbeaten streak, um, so they are one of the hottest teams in soccer right now. Uh, obviously a fierce rival to the Union, so, um, so what do the Union have to do tonight to frustrate D.C. United and, and get them off their game a little bit? They'll just have to play hard and, and really attack defensively, I'd say. They have to, they have to uh, really pressure the ball and get into the heads of the, as, of the D.C. players. That's the only way they can really really have a chance in this one. I mean, they're not as talented as the other team, but sometimes you can you can break a team by pressuring them. And D.C. United is obviously coming off of a, a fresh victory against Orlando City on Wednesday night. The Union, meanwhile, have had eight days to think about their last loss to the Vancouver Whitecaps. Um, so w what's the mindset now with the Union since they've had eight days to obviously go over some film and figure out what they need to do better? Yeah, well, hopefully they've been just trying to wipe the slate clean. They've had a long break over a week. So as long as they've been uh, as long as they've been preparing the way they should be, they should hopefully come out in uh, better standing tonight against the against the United. And we will wait and see the Philadelphia Union will kick off their squ 